Hey, welcome to the Totally Gnarly Talk Show. Today, we have our guest, Brian Robeson from The Hatchet. Hey, Brian. So let's get into our first question. Tell us about that wicked plane crash. Well, from the parts I remember, it was absolutely horrifying. The cabin filled with this awful smelling gas, and I looked over at the pilot, and he was grabbing his chest and grunting. I didn't know what was happening until he became unconscious. I tried to wake him up and call for help, but we were out of range for all the towers. Uh, after a while, the plane ran out of fuel, and I had to do something, so I grabbed the wheel, and, uh, I thought I was going to die, because I saw nothing below me but a sea of trees. After a few minutes, um, I saw an L-shaped lake, and I thought that was my best chance for survival, so I pointed the plane down, and I crashed into the river, to the lake. Oh, that's crazy intense, my friend. So... Tell me about your yeah, first impression of the wilderness. After the crash, I woke up on the shore, and I just remember I was so thirsty, so I uh, went and I drank straight from the lake. Then I was just swarmed with mosquitoes. They were eating me alive. I couldn't take it anymore. I was swatting and swatting, but I was so sore from the crash. It was horrible. Then I passed out again. I do remember how quiet it was. It was a lot different from the big city where I live, and it it was just unreal. I totally hear you, man. I consider myself one with nature. So, like, what'd you do for shelter? I found an overhanging rock real close by the lake. With uh, It had two sides already from the uh, hill it was on, and I just got these really big, uh, logs and branches and I lined them all up along the edge of the rock to make two more walls so I'd have an enclosed place to sleep. So sweet, my dude. Sounds like a killer shack. So, what'd you eat? I ate a lot of things. In the beginning, I only ate these red berries that would uh, really upset my stomach. And then I found raspberries and those helped. But then once I got more skilled in the wild. I uh, would hunt for fish with uh, a bow I made. And then when I moved up from that, I made a spear and I learned how to hunt these little chicken-like birds that were on the uh, in the wilderness. And then I also ate rabbits too. Oh, gnarly, man. So what was your biggest challenge? I'd say my biggest challenge was staying positive. Because at one point, there was this plane that flew right above my uh, camp, and they didn't see any of my signal attempts. After that, I kind of lost all hope, and uh, I even tried to kill myself by cutting my wrists with my hatchet. Uh, after that, um, I kind of thought back to my teacher. He, al he would always tell the class that, you know, you got to have a positive attitude to with anything you do. So I kind of put that into my life and I came up with like I saw myself as a new Brian kind of and that's really when I started turning around because I saw everything with a new view getting deep I really like it man so what do you do with all your free time well I do a lot of things I would clean my camp I would uh, gather and store wood and I always had to make sure the fire was going too. I uh would hunt, I'd fish, and I'd just do anything that really needed to be done. I tried to keep myself busy as I could because if, you know, you're not doing something all the time, your mind's going to wander and I, you don't want to get depressed out there. Smart man. I like your style. Well, let's thank Brian Robeson for coming on. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. It was, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, thanks for watching a totally gnarly talk show. <laughs>